Hey guys, Dog Beach. Excited? My name is Gerlene Verk. I live in San Diego, California. I'm 28 years old and I work as a program manager at a tech company. Hey, watch your tail. You know, as much as I want my life to be a rom com, it's not a rom com. Dating in San Diego, it is a hookup culture and I failed miserably at it. That was it. There we go. I'm a very monogamous person, so that's why I, I, I suck at like casual dating. However, I um, haven't been seeing anyone for a while, so just like, yeah, you know, fulfilling my needs as a woman. Are you living your best life yet? I love my dogs, but it's weird if I'm not near them, which is like maybe a codependent issue. Oh, 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 oh she's so happy. I know. Good job, Shadow. Good poop. Good pee, Shadow. Yes, do you need to go potty? Shadow, say hi. You can't, you think this is a show. You can't just like, what do you need? A lot's been happening. Basically, I got to meet with this matchmaker. She like looks for basically your soulmate. And this person is gonna be not from the United States. So they would move here? No. Or you would? I would go move to their country. Are you gonna be expected to stay with them? Yeah. I am expected to live in the house with them. Girlie, like, why have you thought about that? No, I feel like, you know. I'm really excited about it, but I'm not gonna lie, like, of course I'm still nervous. All of my friends are either married or in long-term relationships, and to be the one that doesn't quite, doesn't have it, right? I don't know, feels lonely, and I am very much more open to having someone else help a sister out, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, the crazy part is that, like, it could happen in any time, any day. Have you kind of thought through that? Like, are you willing to stay somewhere permanently? Yeah. I knew for, like, a long time, like, California wasn't the end-all, be-all for me. Parts of San Diego are really homogenous, and my track record is I've dated white guys tall white guys. I feel like I've always found the ones who have the best intentions, but just have never quite understood the experiences of people that don't like look like them. The person I want to be with is very like open. Okay, the pubs, obviously I got them. Yeah. But what about your house? So I met with uh, Jonathan. You know okay, Jonathan, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's a realtor. You'd be willing to sell your house, get your dogs, quit your job potentially. Yeah. I'm walking away from a lot in hopes of what will come out of it is a like lifelong partnership, a soulmate. I don't know, do, when I first meet them, do I shake their hand? Do I high five? Don't high five them. Like, don't do that. <laughs> when the way that she walked in, she caught me by surprise. I Catch myself because her eyes that hypnotize me. Oh. My name is Philip Michael Thomas Jr. I'm 35. I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm currently looking for the love of my life. I am looking for a woman who is nurturing and caring and is in love with ice cream. Like, I am an ice cream fanatic. Like, I wake up, eat, sleep, and breathe ice cream. Like, I like putting ice cream in certain places, and I like eating the ice cream from certain places. Oh, I'm, that's too much. I'm giving too much now. I'm looking for uh, Dairy Queen, if you know what I mean. You see me on the street, DMT, I got that heat you need. I'm a musician, and um, a lot of the women in Atlanta don't really get the musician lifestyle, doing odd and things to hustle. Like, they love seeing the results of, like, people that have made it, but somebody that's, like, still starting out and building, you know, not a lot of women are down for that. Oh, 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 uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up, bro, Am? Oh, man. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. I'm glad you came through today. Recently, I met a relationship coach. 
yeah, I've been dating and, you know, nothing really yeah. has come to fruition more than just, you know, physical activities. My last girlfriend, we ended things about eight months ago, but after our relationship, I was a little book wild and that's what made me decide to be celibate for a second. But yeah, the relationship coach, she's mad cool, bro. She was asking me a whole bunch of questions about like our family and like history. But dad, work that line, be fruitful and multiply. That was his affirmations. <laughs> My dad is one of the biggest baby makers on the planet. He is Philip Michael Thomas from the show Miami Vice. I have about 15 siblings, or well, not about, but I have 15 siblings. <laughs> dad, he didn't mind having like kids. Hence why we're all here, you know, <laughs> but at the same time, you know, I didn't grow up with with him like that That makes me want to be a very present father and that's course, why I've, course, I've yeah. been so picky about who I just have a Kid with because it's to me. It's just not a kid. It's it's an extension of me It's like a legacy my child, you know, my mom passed when I was young and my dad really wasn't around like that my oldest brother, Kayon, he became my guardian, and he's just always been very instrumental in my upbringing. But I never really had the traditional family unit, so, you know, I'll do almost anything to find a partner to create that. Like, if she found somebody for me, I'm moving to a random country, but I don't know which country. That's yeah. scary, man. That is scary, wow. I'm nervous for you. Man. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> but. <laughs> How does finances work, your bills? And yeah, I'm pretty good right now. I got like a little, you know, savings or whatever. The only thing I'm worried about kind of is my car. I got my dream car finally. It's a Tesla, right? <laughs> right, no, it's Toyota. Very good yeah. car. All right, all right, that's, that's funny.